All right, guys. Today we are in a special place. I'm not allowed to say exactly where it is, but there are cars here that you probably may never see ever in the Volkswagen world. And some rare Porsches. This is a Romash. Um, you do not get to see these very often because there's not very many of them. It is Volkswagen powered. It is actually um, coach built. So it's a very rare coach built car. You not to see these very often. Anywhere in the world, they just don't show up anywhere. And I had to get permission to film in here, and he said that's fine. So very much appreciate him. He said, Suicide doors. Wow. Just insane. They're cool, you guys. This is not just some other car. This is a coach built. It looks a lot like a 356, but it's not. We don't want to mention his name, anything he just wants. He said it's okay to film. So. Anyway, these are just beautiful cars and private collection um, ones you guys may never see anywhere if you notice what this is this is ah, let's see what year it is 59 bins so this is a before they actually had a double cab the actual production double cab they had these coach built ones you can tell pretty easily by the wide door and the window in the back. And obviously this thing's restored to the nines. Pretty amazing, guys. This stuff is... Some of these cars I, I've never seen. I've never seen most of these cars before. I've never been to this event. And it's not really an event. This is actually a personal collection. So. There's cars everywhere, you guys. There's a lot of them. Uh, this is just... A 66 bus, and I'm sure it has 27,000 original miles unrestored. I knew it was something special like that. Yeah, that's a pretty neat sea blue. You want to know if your color matches? You that's the real don't, thing. You don't, you don't let me. <laughs> Another rare one. What's this one, guys? You tell me. I don't even know what it is. Is it another? No, it's another Danhauser. I don't know what that is. That is damn cool. This is a coach belt. Very rare coach belt right here. Wow, that is neat. And they use the Batwing wheel, it looks like to me, and the, a lot of uh, stuff from the oval dashes in here. That is amazing, guys. Real treat to be here, guys. We'll come back to these a little bit. It's only a 50 vert. There, you know, there's like very little of those left. And but we'll start with the 46 sedan. Split window sedan. Here we go. Nice old split window here. Pretty early. That's a 46. It's uh, pretty old car. Standard. Did they have deluxes in? I don't think they did. Pretty cool. Okay, so we got a 59 vert. This is a beauty. 
Looks like Strata Silver to me. That's my guess. Gray interior. I like the steering wheel. What do you guys think about the horn button on that? Pretty cool. Still has V's on it. I didn't know they made those that way. 58, 57, 59, 59. I thought it was earlier. Maybe it was only on the Burks. I don't remember. I don't I don't know that. Maybe you guys can comment that below. 1950. These are pretty rare. Um, the thing about them that's rare is they they made more of them than they did. Uh, Hebulars, but this one has an original interior. Maybe it's original paint. Hard to tell. Pretty neat. 1950. I think I've seen it. He brings them down sometimes in Southern California, so maybe I've seen it once. Early fenders. A little bit of a logo on there. Let's get you guys back so you can see the whole thing. Semaphores. We've got another split over here. See what year this one is. Let's look. 1952. And this one here is a deluxe because it has the trim. Deluxe would have the trim. Chrome bumpers. Has this style emblem right here. You can tell. Well, those are painted behind. The backgrounds are painted in. So it's not, it's not just a flat logo, it has, it's solid, but it's painted, and that's what, that's why it looks like that. That's a pretty neat mirror right there. You guys ever seen one like that? So what do you think here? That interior is beautiful. Really nice. So 63. Rag, and that's uh, basically that's a Herbie year, 63. Man, that's beautiful paint. Uh, 72, six high school graduation. <laughs> Very cool. Nice 63 vert or uh, rag. Super excited to be able to film in here, you guys. Uh, like I said, I wasn't sure that I'd be able to. He was kind enough to let me film this, so thank, thank him. You guys might know who it is. You guys who do, you can comment. If I am not saying anything. Really nice. I think this is original paint. Let's look at the thing. It's a 56 oval. Thirty-seven thousand original miles, not kilometers, miles. There's a whole bunch of cars outside, so stick around. Make sure you watch the whole video. There's going to be tons of stuff in this video, rare things you've never seen before, probably. Even though we started out with a Romesh, you know, there's there's some other pretty cool stuff out there. Sixty double. Double door. Double door walkthrough. Wow, that's really rare. They didn't have that many double door walkthroughs. One of the things that's really unique about those is they don't have the vents up above. So 
if you see a bus that's a double door or walk through you'll find out that they didn't have the vents anybody know why that is they didn't have vents in here because um, you can't put a divider in so the other buses you could put a divider in as an option and because you could put that divider in that would give people in the back or if they had anything that was alive back here could possibly get carbon monoxide poisoning because there's no ventilation back here so that's why they put those vents in there on the on the uh, on the panels they had the vents in the panels in case you know it was used for people they don't know what it's going to get used for it could be just cargo or it could be people back there or camping or back there and or whatever and kids or something back then so sort of thing happened so anyway we'll go on and check out some of the other cars here let's see what this is uh, Denzel I, I really you guys have to comment about these because I really don't know what these are that's what it is but it is really cool looking it has a kind of a 356 look to it and a little bit of romance to it you see it's got late model wheels on it it's a 58 though I don't know maybe those aren't maybe they've been updated Tell me what you guys think in the comments. And if you know more about these than me, you can always comment those things. Let's see what you have to say. Let's look inside. God, that's gorgeous. Wow, look at that. It's almost like a bench seat. It's like a, you know, the driver's side split. Look at the shift mechanism and stuff in the e-brake where it's at. Got a really low hump in the middle. Gauges on the dash and stuff. And what is that? Is that the turn signal on the right hand side? That's really interesting. And the dash grab handle, that's kind of neat too. So I get you guys up closer for that. That's pretty cool. Ah, 2004. Was this one of the last ones made? One of the final 3,000 Beatles made in Mexico, I guess. That's pretty neat. I don't know if I can get behind it, but we'll try to get around a little bit. Look at this. Alarm? Wow, look at that. Came with like Ricardo like seats, huh? Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I've never seen one actually myself. 96 sedan from Mexico. Looks like the original paint color. Really gorgeous. Looks a little bluer in the photo than in person, so to see so you know. But it kind of has a pearl to it. We got a late model vert. What's this one? I bet it's some rare deal too. Probably low miles, low miles. Let's see. Seventy-nine vert. Last year, the German built Beatles. So one of the last ones built, obviously, last year. And it's mint, low miles, I'm sure. Oh, and L97. This is the same color as the Rabbit pickup I have. It's diamond, Porsche, diamond, silver. Or also came on the Rabbits, VWs. Great color. 74 thing. 
Was that the last year thing made too? This is a collector here. 67 Sunroof. One year only car, so I think he wanted to have one of those. Can understand that. A lot of one year only correct parts on that car. It looks like it's very low miles. Yeah, 37,000 original miles. These 67 fans. Looks like, what do you think it is? Pearl white? Or is it lotus white? I don't know. What did they have in 67? I'm not sure. Green sedan? 63. We'll get some really other cool stuff outside. We'll bring you guys back in in a second. You guys, these are really rare right here. These are KDF posters. So, these are actual KDF. So, prior to the production, when the, I guess the officers in the war or something like that got the KDF Beatles. Those are photos that are posters for that production. So that's really a rare scene to see. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is a VW, what is this, 25 horsepower or 36 horsepower cutaway. I think 36 horse. Uh, Volkswagen dealership sign. Looks like the one at uh, I have over at uh, Wolfsburg West, kind of. The same letters, of course. That's their font from back in the day. And these service signs. I have a friend that has a ton of those. Hopefully, I'll get to show you guys those someday. Uh, he has one that's in Arabic. So, it's quite cool. Cool license plates there. Nice Motorola sign, Bosch. There's a whole bunch of toys in there. I don't know if I'll get all that in here, but let's just... Let's stick to the cars, you guys. Uh, I don't know if I want to do all those maybe in another time. As he sees this video and says, hey, that was great. Then 66 Fastback. This has got to be really rare. God. I mean, the earlier ones, the late models, we used to see them. You just don't see the early ones very often. 66, it's pretty nice. And they've got Dangerous. Beverages here. Is that a 911? It's a barn door bus right behind it. We'll go look at that in a second. This is a 912. That must be an early one. 66, 67. What is it? You 911 guys can tell me. Or 912 people. God, that's immaculate. Beautiful. So this is a really cool barn door. I've seen this one before. Uh, I don't know what the deal was with these windows. I can't remember what the story was on those. The windows have something around them and it has a sunroof. But it's almost like the sunroof is positioned more forward in here. So I don't know what the story is on that. Maybe it's barn door. I don't know. Maybe they didn't make windows in these, so they just put them in. I forget what the story was on that. Oh, it's a 1950, so that's... Got to tell the story right there. It's an early, early, early barn door. Wow. One of the oldest probably in the U.S., is my guess because there's not very many 1950s. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's the barn door in the back. 
Very cool. So we're heading out towards the front. Here's an oval. It's just an oval. Gorgeous too. It's definitely a beautiful car right there. It's just Look at that. Running boards. Mirror. It's an early mirror too. It's got the extra little edge around it. Beautiful. Your guess is as good as good as mine. I don't know what this thing is. It's got Volkswagen uh, headlights. Is it a coach belt? Pretty bitchin'. Yeah, that's neat. That seems to have Volkswagen headlights on it. Is it air cooled? I don't know. But it is very neat. Tell me what you guys think. Comment. Got some other really cool rare stuff coming up here, guys. Oh, well, this is a Volkswagen limo. Man, and it's based on a, it must be a real deal. It's an early one. Semaphores. Man, that is cool. Nice interior. Don't know what year it is. It's really neat how they shortened that back window and the doors and flipped them suicide like that. Pretty neat. Just real quick. You don't see these anymore either. So yeah, this is pretty neat. I mean, if you want to, we can walk around together and check it out if you want, just for a second. Wow, this I, this is the real sea blue, huh? I mean, or, I mean, real uh, velvet, velvet green. green. Yep. It looks like real. Uh, did you notice something on this one? Did you see the antenna base? Look at it's not your typical antenna base because if you notice, you know, on the, oh. some of the reproduction ones, some of the other ones. But look at, see how it's like a shelf here. Look how squared off it is. Oh. You can see this base? Look at that. It's thicker. Oh, and it's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Wow, I never really. Yeah. So this is like original. Out on all that kind of stuff. You know? Yeah, yeah. But this this swim is neat too. Let's let's show everybody the swim. Let's go over here. Cause this is something you know, you don't see these. No. Uh. -uh. uh I mean, it's basic. I mean, it's like a bathtub, right? I, I, did uh, you know these are? Did some of these are four by four. I don't. I don't know if this one is. I was looking at one. Uh -huh. Check this out. I, I don't know if this one is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's four. It, it's four wheel drive. Yeah. And look at that. Back in that day, they were using the same CV joints we use today. Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That is just nuts. It looks the same as the CV joints we have now. What I think is really cool is when you see, you know, like typical wing nuts that you'd see on a, uh, like on a roof rack. And they're just you know, got style Just for the windshield to come down and, uh, and it rests on here. Uh, yeah. The other one that's always kind of fun, but you never really see it, is the mount for the machine gun in the back. No. Which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, machine gun. I wonder if it was like a 50 cal. That'd be really wild. Right? Oh, my God. Now this thing's really cool too. A lot of the times what you don't is see this? this. Okay, so this basically you've got the person that's in the back here. Okay. Uh -huh. And before you go into the water. Oh yeah, you gotta put the prop down. Huh? So you actually get that and you go ahead and this thing will go ahead and move. Yeah, then it has like a little it has like a little thing for the prop right here. Yeah. And so basically they'll go ahead and lower it. So this thing will actually go ahead and rest against here. Yeah, okay. I've seen it like and that. It can be held. And it's, it's this little you know, eye hook. But that holds so, it in place. But then obviously, here's your, you know, this is Oh, your, your and then you just it. grab this and then lift it up. Mm -hmm. And then it brings the whole thing yeah. down. Which is really cool. Because, I mean, yeah. basically, once the thing is down, it's constantly turning, right? And I guess the weight, uh, the weight of this is what gets it started. And then once the prop starts to push the right. rig forward. If you look down here, yeah. check this out. Look at this. So, basically, it'll, it would engage... And then it once it's oh, going, oh, I okay. see. He was like, oh, it slides in. Hey, check out this amazing garbage. engineering on that. Dude. And look at this. See this tiny little thing to prime your carb? Oh, like what? a little. Oh, wow. Because I guess if you're in the water and it doesn't, the uh, cetera bump doesn't work, then you're, you're pretty much sinking. It's just incredible when you yeah. see these things and you 
hear these things when they're down. Yeah, they're these down. things. Somebody put one in the Prado at Prado show. They put one in the water over yeah. there, and boy, they get yelled at for that. Check this out. When you look up close here, and just I mean, the e-brake. Think about it. It's still very similar to what we have today, which is really cool. Yeah. I mean, obviously the shifter. I love. Look at that. Isn't that rad. That's yeah. cool. Oh, it's still logoed and yep. everything. Super cool. God, that's probably yeah. a rare piece. And look at this too. Yeah. Well, so that's yeah. how you're uh, you're engaging it back there. Yeah. Oh, that's where you push the thing back, the rod to go to the prop. One of the things that's really really neat. It was just a, just like, almost like it replicates kind of a three five six. The flooring, how mm. it kind of is like a bathtub feel. Now the other thing yeah. too, I don't know if you saw the video that I did with uh, Kimball uh, Kimball's uh, Kubel. He has a Kubel, yeah. But the key, if you remember the key, which uh -huh. is kind of a trip. It's like you could spin it and spin it and spin it, and what? it does nothing. But yeah. you have to push it forward or yeah. something? Yeah, you push it, and that's basically what it does. Oh. I will not do it now, but yeah. You push it, turns the lights on, then you start it like that. The other thing that's oh. crazy, just like the Kubel, is the amount of fuses that are on these things. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, my God. Yeah. That's a lot. And they would have about 10 fuses on it, like wow. a late model. Super, super cool. Yeah, pretty neat. Pretty rad. There's just some amazing stuff here, you guys. So then, what, I, what is, what do you know what this thing is? Okay, so check this out. No, so what this, is it? Uh, all I really know, it's it, it reminds me of an Hormiga, but it's an Australian car. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, Hormiga. That's right, like the... Right-hand drive, obviously. But, yeah, um, Australian you know, version of the Hormiga. The other thing that's a little dead giveaway, too, obviously, on the key, he's got his little kangaroo here. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. But, you know, it's, uh, one of the things that I love is how things always translate over, like, look at the, the uh, high-low dimmer switch. That oh yeah, to budge buses. Yeah, you know? everything. <laughs> everything. And they just, right? Yeah, this thing's know? really neat. Yeah, I've never super seen anything sick. like it actually. Yeah, this um, is super crazy unique. And look at they use like the bus rims. Okay, but now this here's is late model. Though. I don't. I'll bet you anything that these aren't. Bus well, things, rims. things yeah, maybe. Things, well, because they, maybe they. I have. I have a. I have a four inch, narrow. Okay. Uh, fifteen. Okay. At home, and I don't know what it came off of. But check it out. It's like a thing almost where the exhaust comes through the body. Which is kind yeah. Of oh. You got late latch. And gin, you know how, like, uh, I don't know who used to sell those license lights where the whole chrome piece came and it held the license plate. But it's kind of interesting just seeing just the center, the little center part. But um, look at this. Look at that. Wow. That is just original, too. You know what I think is great about all of Mark's Look cars? Look at that air conditioning, you know, man. It's a trip air to see. Air air. It's a trip to see these cars, you know, where it's not just, wow, they're really cool on the inside. But when you start looking on the inside, the details, man. I mean, yeah. it's like that engine was nice. Yeah, everything looks amazing. Yeah. This. I mean, it just looks like something the way it was, you know. Yeah. It doesn't look over-restored. You know, it looks like it's... Let's look at this side. Just because this is a really unique car, it's just something oh, my Australian. Says, it's like a it's like a bus mirror. Like oh a, yeah, 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 like a bus. Mirror. But look at the arm. Check this out. Yeah. Dude. Look at look at the wow. the nut on that. I mean, so it's not like oh I'll just go get a bus arm. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. It's too short. Oh, check it out, dude. And like a bus, uh, just a regular sporty jet. Although yeah, it's a it beetle. It's kind of one, interesting. Like how, well, they well, look at they had to have an angle up higher because this right? is further up. Yep, yep. <laughs> so it has. It's definitely not the same. And check it out. Though. Oh, look at. Oh, you got like a, you got yeah, like, like rear hatch lock. Yeah, or like a little deck lid lock in the front. Yeah, that's cool. Aussie VW. That's rad. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Is this the one like yours? Yeah, this one like is. yours? Yeah, it's a 71. It's 71. Uh, it looks to be original. Wow. Paint, look at, the yeah, the original paint. Dude, and then look at the inside. Original. This thing is freaking immaculate. Oh, look at the curtains. Oh, it's, it, they're original. Look yeah, at, I mean, they yeah, still they got the patina on them. Wow. Wow, this thing is just like a 71 timepiece is what it is. Dude. Four months of your... And you know what's really funny? A look lot at of this. Times, like, it's like, this is like probably the carpet that was in it. You know, the guy probably put that in it to protect right? the floor. Yeah. And they just left it there because it looks like 70s. That yeah. looks totally 70s Here's right something there. kind of fun. Um, a lot of people don't know this. I, I learned just by chance. But if you notice here, the little hole oh, yeah. in the floor. Uh -huh. Did you know that the leg from the table screws in there? Oh, it screws in because I I usually yeah. put like one in there. I just yeah. put a, put one of those cap no. bolts on there to hold it. So there's actually, if you look at the base of the leg, 
lot of the times, well, that thing's out. Yeah, I don't want to screw thing, with no. it. It's, but it's the, an the leg actually has threads. So when you put it down, you actually, you know, can go ahead and kind of oh, screw it into place. Oh, and it kind of screwed into place, yeah. yeah so you don't wow. kick it. Because like the earlier ones, you always just put it on that nut and you'd knock it out of place or mm -hmm. whatever. Hi. That's neat. Hi there. God, it's just... Man, look at oh, look at the fringe on the I was top just too. Say, it's funny when you see the fringe up there. That's, that's like somebody added that on. No, huh? dude, that's original. Mine has that. Really? Yeah, but my thought is, why? But let me. Uh, <laughs> I, the fringe. I don't know, you guys. Look at that. That's the fringe. Wow. <laughs> okay, look at this. So four two. So just amazing stuff. Okay, so check out this so four two. Man. Cool. You know, original. Fact, like all the little yeah. details. Like if you guys just notice the '71, and you look at the handles, are different than these little handles, right? Yeah, See different. Mm -hmm. uh, those are square with the button on it. Yeah. Yet they're hollow on the inside to come in. Hollow, so you can get your hand in there and open it. And oh, then the thing, dude. Dude, are those original cur curtains? It's, or I don't know. I think they, they are, but I don't wow. recognize the colors. Wow. So I'm trying to figure out. Oh, this oh but look at the floor on it. Cool. The flooring. Is that original? That's cool. It looks like, I, I don't know. I've never seen that style flooring before. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe maybe this is the one that's sought after the right floor. You know? well, I'll tell you what was always sought after was this spice rack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check this out, Mike. Well, look, they got springs on them. Yeah, but with little plastic protectors, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's somebody wrong. did that afterwards. And, and, yeah, I've never seen that kind of. That's smart. Maybe they were actually using this. You yeah. know, They were like, hey, man, our stuff keeps on falling out of here. Let's well, do something really neat. Out. Speaking of that, look at this. You don't see this very often. What is this? This, this, this is, is for the original? Awning. This is for, for an awning one. Oh. So you keep the rope through here. Oh, so they okay. didn't have the, they didn't have the late, no. this must be 67. Yep. Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, no, What's you know, the 67 it's 66. only? 66. But what's trippy is, he's got the, oh, 66 he's got the curtains on the front, so he's got yeah. the really cool little rails up there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, mine still had the, my 67 had the rails, and I... I made something else for the curtains to slide in because it, I, and the Dude, original little things were just impossible to restore. Oh. Check out the upholstery. Oh, wow. Is that? That is totally crazy. What you know, is that? Dude, is that original? <laughs> I think it might have been some sort of an option. Wow, this is, I've never seen this. No, it's, I wonder, is it in kilometers? No, it's in miles per hour. I was going to say, I wonder if this thing was made out of it overseas. That's a different pattern, you guys. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty rad. Man, that is cool. And it's, yeah, that is real pearl white, man. You can just see the green in it, huh? Can't you just see the green in that color? just has that little bit of tinge of green to it man it feels great well 66 and 7 yeah. this style only so. what's up mr mike hey mr robert skinner <laughs> he's the guy right here <laughs> skinner and crocs <laughs> all right you guys is this the 356a yeah looks like one Is it a speedster? I don't know how to tell the difference. Unrestored? Wow. That is cool. There's this really weird car. I have no idea what it is. Is it Polish or something weird like that? Look at that. It's a weird thing. I have no idea, but it's so cool. We'll put it in the video. It's not. Oh, it's. Uh, I don't know if it's. Look at that. Tatra. Weird. I have no. I, I've never seen one of these. Another three five six. Let's see. A or A B C A B C. C looks like to me. I think that's what that C is for. Yeah, this is really late. Because of the hubcaps, I... 
think that's a dead giveaway for me. I really don't know anything about Porsches, guys. So. Really cool car. We've got a low light coming up over here. Here is a 58 low light. These are really cool. I like the 58. This is an unrestored car, too. I like the steering wheel on these. What do you guys think about those? Tell me. Hi, Jay. Original rack. I think this is. I believe this one is completely unrestored low miles. If I recall correctly. Yeah. How many miles are? How many miles? I can't see it. Tell me. It's the original. Let's take a look at the fire trucks. These are pretty rare. So what would you think if this guy showed up to your house to put your fire out? I'd be a little concerned myself. Air cool. It looks like a 36 horsepower 10 on there. I don't know if that's a 36 horsepower or early 40. You know, the bastard 40 horse, maybe? 10, but maybe not. Maybe it's not the bastard 40 horse. I don't know. Look inside here. We'll probably grab some more clips after this, and then we'll do some more. So anyway, this is pretty cool. This is uh, looks like an ambulance. Yeah, it's got the frosted glass halfway up. I wonder if it's real sandblasted, probably not vinyl. Bay window ambulance. It's really cool. 68. Oh, look at it, he has a slow sign. Sixty-eight ambulance. Another really neat thing. I have no idea what this is. Comment, guys. Let me know. Generator. Look at that. Some sort of a loudspeaker. I don't know. Almost looks like that uh, guy had a one to carry a coffin. Same type of a shape to it. And we got the fire truck. I don't know. Is it related? Maybe not. That's weird. It has... Uh, the bumpers that are on that and look at the is this Brazilian or weird so it's got Euro tail lights third brake light and then it has press bumpers I don't know not sure why it's like that well it's a 58 but it does have late model tail lights on it so, I don't know, maybe the fire department up, updated that to make it brighter. It's one heck of a water pump there. What's that? Rubber hose? Cloth hose? That's cool. We got some other ones coming, guys. So there's going to be a some more footage coming. Uh, got some really rare buses at the Kelly Park. Came from other states. So stick around for that video for sure. We may have some more clips of this one. And so stick around and we'll see. But uh, let's look at the other side. So yeah, it's a 58, but it has later model taillights. I think that's because... 
fire department probably had to update the tail lights for uh, you know for them for visibility. So anyway, don't know the backstory on it, but there's a uh, interesting stuff in there. I've got to film this, so I better. It's a Brazilian model. You don't have remedies in the U.S. and most of us don't see them. Real quick, I'm gonna grab the footage on this and then. You guys wanna head over to Eddie Collins' channel and check out his video. There'll be more footage on this same show, but of course he's gonna have different camera angles, different views, different things to show you. So make sure you check that out. Private collection, guys. Let's check it out. I gotta tell you guys, the parking lot is just as interesting. There's a 67 all original car back there I was looking at. I mean, it's just as interesting as the inside. So hopefully the Kelly Park show has got a lot of this going on. I mean, <laughs> it's just, there was a split window driving by a minute ago. It's just totally nuts. Look at out here, what's this? Another beautiful beetle sitting out here. Wow. You know, I know you guys, a lot of you guys can't attend. Wow, look at the interior. Holy. Oh my God. That is rad. You just don't see that stuff, you know? And then you got Robert's camper here. This thing is really cool. He, It's totally campable. It has like the best interior ever. So yeah, this rack right here is for a Canterbury camper. Eddie had this at home and Robert just bought a Canterbury camper. Really rare bus. It's a very rough ride. And uh, there's, the, there's the rack for it. They both came together. That is a air-cooled... Is it fiberglass or...? No, it's, I think it's just the paint we were talking about. Wow. Whatever the heck that thing is, I never seen one before. This is the 